God will bless in your life whatever you surrender. How many of you want to be blessed? If you're not raising your hand, would you please raise your hand because I know you want to be blessed. We all want to be blessed. But what does that word mean? What does it mean to be blessed? I think culturally we have identified being blessed with having more things, having better things. We feel blessed when life is going well, when all of the things are going right. That's what we think blessed means, more and better of all the things that we want. I'm so blessed when someone's on vacation, they post a photo and they say, I'm on the beach of Hawaii, hashtag blessed, right? You've seen this. Is that what blessed means? Is, is, are people who aren't experiencing those things not blessed? What blessed means, the Greek word is makarioi, and it means to be made happy. To be made happy. Blessed are the poor, said Jesus. Blessed are those who mourn. That's strange. Jesus, why are you saying it that way? That's not blessed in our picture of the world, but what Jesus said on the Sermon on the Mount in Matthew 5, blessed are not just those who experience the good life as our world says it. Blessed are those who experience the good life as God defines it. And you can have the good life even though you're poor, even though you're mourning, even though you're grieving, even though you are going through difficulty. When you walk in God's power, when you give your life away in service and generosity, you will discover the good life. Uh, again, that idea of blessing, lots of people uh, multiply money without God. How many of you know someone who's far from God and has lots of money? Lots of people can multiply money without God. They can have more stuff and more opportunities and more things. Uh, but we all know that having more of that stuff isn't what makes people happy, right? We say, people have said this before, more money, more problems. More money, more problems. And so the blessed life is not having more of that stuff. The blessed life is found when you surrender all of that stuff to God. Did the priest and the Levite walk away happy? Or did the Samaritan walk away happy? I think the Samaritan walked away happy. Uh, neuroscientifically, the Samaritan was the one who experienced that boost in his happiness trifecta brain chemicals. When we give our lives away in service and generosity, we get to walk in that blessing that God has designed us for physically. The Samaritan walked away happy because he surrendered his plan, his time, and his resources. I, I was talking with Sarah about this last night, and she said that it's almost as if God designed us to get a taste of heaven when we give. That in heaven, there's going to be no pain, no tears, no sorrow. Am I right? That's what we believe. That's what we're headed for. That's what we're hoping for. And when we give, we get a boost of heaven. We get that feeling that we're going to have in heaven, just a little foretaste of heaven when we give. But the question I want to ask you, you can want God to bless all of your stuff, but have you surrendered your stuff? Have you surrendered your life? We say, God, bless my marriage. But have you surrendered your marriage? Have you said, not my will, but yours be done? We want God to bless our finances. God, pour out your blessing on me. But have you surrendered your finances to God? We want God to bless us in our schoolwork and our work and all of these things in our lives. But the question is, have we surrendered them to God? If we do not surrender them to him, then we keep them in our arms. We are tight-fisted with the things that we have. And God will not bless what we aren't open-handed with. He will not make us happy with the things that we're not willing to surrender to him. So have you surrendered those things in your life to him? How many of you uh, have arm wrestled recently? Anyone? So all the young people, none of the old people. Uh, I think in, in life, it's a little bit like we're arm wrestling God for control of the things in our lives. We could sit there and arm wrestle God with our finances. I want to do it my way, God. We can arm wrestle God in our relationships. I want to do it my way, God. But are you ever going to beat God? The resounding answer should be no. 
You will not beat God for control in your life. You will not beat God if you are trying to arm wrestle him. The only way you will be blessed by God is when you surrender to God. The only way you're going to experience blessing in your marriage, blessing in these different things that you want God to make you happy in is when you surrender them to him and say, God, not my will, but yours be done.